This is a really important slide for those, especially for those clinicians who do not uh, use ECMO regularly and are not overly familiar with ECMO. And, and this often becomes confusing, especially as we jump between the two types. So we have veno-arterial ECMO and veno-venous ECMO. Veno-arterial ECMO, which is the original ECMO, is truly heart-lung bypass. It is what's done in the operating room for cardio for, as a cardiorespiratory bypass for cardiac surgery. VA ECMO replaces the patient's heart and lung function. On the other side, we have venovenous ECMO. Venovenous ECMO does not replace anything. It essentially is splicing a third lung into the patient's circulation to provide pure lung support. So venoarterial ECMO is heart and lung support. Venovenous ECMO is purely lung support. Well, let's, let's take that view and let's just take it to the next level and talk about this in a little more detail because it's really important why you would distinguish between both. In terms of venoarterial ECMO, venoarterial ECMO removes blood from the right side of the circulation, oxygenates the blood, ventilates the blood, and returns it to the left side of the circulation. Because we're entering the left side of the circulation where there's risk of cerebral embolus, whether that be clot or air, we have to have a system as shown uh, on the slide. This is a full service VA ECMO pump that is very complex. And we have a higher potential for risk in terms of stroke with embolus as, re as well as renal dysfunction because of pulsatility. The blood flow from this pump is non-pulsatile compared to the heart. And there are some who believe that that actually can lead to renal dysfunction. So VA ECMO, highly complex, higher potential for risk.